I just want to take a second to thank you all for checking out my videos, liking and subscribing. Uh, I really, truly, really do appreciate it. Um, this, is little, this little video was born out of uh, an issue that I was having with the ESP32S chips. So I figured I'd go ahead and buy a few different chips and try them out, do a range test, see which one had the best Wi-Fi range. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, please do like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications of future videos. All the links to the products in the video are in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission on a sale from a purchase store link. However, it does not affect the price that you pay and it goes to help support my channel um, and also keeps me motivated to go ahead and make more content. So if you like, once again, hit that bell icon, hit the like icon, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you all. You all have a great day and enjoy. Thanks now. Bye bye. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do a range test on three ESP32 chips. To my left, we have an ESP32S. The ESP32S has an integrated wireless antenna. We're also going to be using the ESP32D. This has a, an external yet integrated wireless antenna. So it's basically almost identical to the ESP32S with the exception of the fact that the it doesn't have circuit board underneath the antenna. So the antenna is kind of hanging off. Okay. Then last but not least, we have the ESP32U, which is actually just this particular chip here. This is a high gain antenna. It does not come with the chip. This is an optional extra. Uh, I say optional, you probably need one if you want to make this chip work effectively. But uh, the ESP32U does not come with a high gain antenna. So to go ahead and explain how this experiment is going to work, I just got this little visual for you. So my router is an Asus router. It's an RT-AX82U gaming router. Uh, looks kind of like an alien, and it is fantastic. It is a Wi-Fi 6 router, but I'm actually going to be using the 2.4 gigahertz uh, channel. So I've installed the WLED app on my cell phone, and it basically is has all three of the chips registered within the WLED app on my phone. So the ESP32s are going to communicate with the router, then they're going to bounce the signal, uh, or the information should I say, back to the WLED app on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and set a camera up at the front of my door facing the street across the way, and I'm going to walk away with the ESP32 chip away from the router and we'll measure the, the signal loss. Before we get started testing the ESP32 chips, I need to go ahead and test the signal strength of my router. Basically, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fire up the Wi-Fi Analyzer app, and I'm going to walk away from the router and te test the signal strength as I walk away. I want to make sure that my router is capable of transmitting further than the ESP32 chips. That way, I do not have any signal drop issues or any kind of errors when doing the test. It's unlikely I will, as this is a Wi-Fi 6 router, even though I'm only going to be using the 2.4 GHz channel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a quick range test on the Wi-Fi to start off with, just to give me a, kind of an idea of how far my, the range is on my Wi-Fi. Because what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take the chips and walk them away from the, the router, uh, just to see how, how well... Um, how good the range is. So uh, we're looking at the front side of my property right now. Um, I'm going to walk down the road and just uh, see. We'll keep we'll keep an eye on the Wi-Fi signal right now. I'm probably about 15 feet from the router, and there's a few walls, brick walls between us. So I'm going to go ahead and start walking, and we're going to go ahead and get a baseline. Okay. Uh, uh. Yep, and that person's me. Yeah, still pretty good, and still pretty good. Doing pretty well so far. Uh, oh. This is Wi-Fi 6 that I'm on, so it's uh, it's got a good signal. Surprisingly good. This is an Asus router, by the way, 68, uh, RT68U I believe it is. Still connected. Oh, here we go, it's starting to drop now. 
and it's going to be about almost where it's unusable. So as soon as it gets to the grey, then we're going to stop. That's pretty impressive. I'm probably about a thousand feet from the house. And one bar, I'd say that's about far enough. So, okay. I'm going to show you where I'm at. You can't see me. But... Oh. Sorry about that. Okay. And we're back. Alright, so all in all, we did really, really well. I uh, got to the end of the street there. And now let's go and try the actual USB chips themselves. And the way we're going to do this. Um, the ESP chip is going to be is, is connected to the router itself. The app on the phone, the WLED app, is basically connecting through the router to the chip. So it's basically going out and coming back. All right, so let's get this started. Okay, for this uh, test, the first test, we're going to go ahead and utilize the ESP32 that has the baked on chip. Oh, ba sorry, the baked on antenna. If you can see that. A little bit difficult, I know. But, uh, so, we're outside the house right now. I'm going to go ahead and go into the config, uh, not the config, sorry, the info, and we're going to look at the, the connection strength. So, we're at 54 dBm right now. Negative 54, and I'm standing outside the front of the house. So. Until we're going to keep walking until we lose connection, I suspect it won't be that we won't be able to get that far with this one. So, we got about halfway across the road. <laughs> Not far at all. Alright, so let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so for this one, so we're going to be using the ESP32D. Um, and this is the one that has the overhanging antenna. Not the external antenna, but the overhanging. So, let's go into the info. Something outside the front door. And 53 dBm. Okay. Okay, the lower number the better, so let's just start walking. Still pretty good. I'd say with more than double the range. Okay, so at least probably ten times the range on that. Yeah. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to be using the ESP32U with the external antenna, high gain and uh, high gain antenna. Let's let it rest like that. I'll hold the phone and let me see how well this one does. Alright.
still fantastic signal strength. So we didn't get much too much further with the ESP32D. So somewhat disappointing. You would have thought you'd have got much further range with this. I would say this is on par with the the other. So, uh, yeah, not much difference to be honest. So, as you all saw, the results speak for themselves. The ESP32S um, really didn't have great range at all, and honestly, these chips that I've been purchasing have been kind of hit and miss. Um, the I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the Wi-Fi antenna is baked kind of onto the, the PCB is actually on the circuit board of the of the chip. Um, so I'm thinking that is is probably interfering with its signal. Now the ESP32D in my opinion is remarkable. Um, it has much greater range than the ESP32S and I think that's basically because it does not have that PCB directly under the wireless antenna. It's almost like it's cut a little bit shorter so the wireless antenna can hang over the edge. And that wireless antenna that hangs over the edge is pretty thick and pretty sturdy it's not flexible so it's uh, not going to break off very easily and then last but not least the ESP32U I was actually kind of disappointed in the result that I got with the ESP32U I thought I would get a, actually, actually get a lot more range than I did um, in actuality it was only actually about an extra 10 feet uh, that I got in distance over the ESP32D now one thing I'll say, the, uh, the for the price points, the ESP32S and the ESP32D are pretty much the same price. Um, honestly, from now on, I'm only ever going to be buying the ESP32D. Uh, the ESP32S really doesn't cut it for my particular projects. Now, as far as the ESP32 use concerned, yes, you do get a little bit more range, and possibly if uh, you're mounting the antenna or maybe on a, on a metal can or a metal in a metal box, it might give you a little extra range. I don't know. I may try that in a future video. But honestly, the price point, because the, the actual ESP32 chip itself is about... Or the U chip is probably about six, seven dollars. I'll put the price here on the screen in a moment, um, and then you've got another five dollars for the antenna. So it works out about eleven bucks to go ahead and get an ESP32U with the antenna. And honestly, that's a little bit. It's not a lot of money, I know, but to me, when I'm buying these in bulk or buying these in volume, that's a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. And to be honest, I think the ESP32D does a fine job. Um, I would have to say I was probably getting about 250 feet to 300 feet away from the router. Uh, given that the router is actually upstairs in my office, um, I think that the ESP32D did a remarkable job. Uh, the ESP32 is, is, yes, is fine, um, I would say, for a, a, maybe a one-story house uh, that you don't have to go too far away from the router for. But honestly, as I say, uh, they've been hit and miss. Some of them work okay, some of them don't work at all. Uh, a lot of the ESP32s have had to, re the S's I've had to return because they only get a range of about five feet from the router. Um, and obviously there's obviously something going on with the manufacturing issue. Um, or it's probably it could be a, a defective wireless antenna but there you have it those are the results of the test um if you have any comments or uh thoughts please do feel free to post them down in the description below i'll try and get back to answering all your questions as soon as i can um, please like and share this video if you found it informative and helpful and uh, if you know everybody else who's into this kind of stuff please feel free to share it uh, hit that like button hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button um, i will be creating more content here shortly um, i'm trying to get stuff out once a week and uh, hope hope you're all enjoying it so thanks for watching i appreciate your time you all have a great day cheers now bye bye